yes, this is Svetlana from Comic Cosplay. And as you have already seen in the title of this video, I'm doing another alloy costume from Horizon Zero Dawn. Yes, I know, I already did another alloy two years ago, but I needed a simple and easy and comfortable costume to travel to conventions. And so I'm doing alloy, which is not really simple and comfortable and easy, but I really like this game and I need another alloy. Yes. So today, in the very first part of this video series, I'm going to show you how I made the fabric and fake fur part of the Banuk Trailblazer outfit. Yay! Ah. And if you need any help with your own projects, buy my books. I wrote already 12 of them all about LEDs, armor making, prop making, sewing, weathering, painting, and all kind of stuff. So check them out on comiccosplay.com. Thank you very much for your support. Yay! And now let's start with the costume. So let's start with the skirt. First, I made a rough pattern out of leftover fabric. Here, I had to figure out the shape and size of each skirt part. My fabric of choice was this lovely sky blue material. I traced the patterns on, cut them out and ironed on some interfacing to stiffen up the skirt. For the fluffy parts I used this bright fake fur which I found in the LA fashion district a few years ago. I sewed some stripes onto the edges and used my handy wonder clips to attach the other side. Next I turned the piece inside out and placed another seam to flatten out the edges. Minna meanwhile tried to get my attention. Some good old fabric glue helped me to place the fur properly. Following this I trimmed the fur a bit and painted it with Copic markers. Now I connected all three parts. To close the skirt I added velcro at the back. Looks ok so far I guess. Next. I used more fake fur to create the animal tails. First, I cut it into a long leaf shape and cleaned it up with my vacuum. Then, I spread fabric glue onto the edge and folded it together. Next, I let everything dry for a bit. With a little more glue, I pressed the fur together to hide the seam this way. Now, I trimmed the hair down for a more natural look and pinned this part onto the skirt. As you can see, I made a few more of these fluffs. To attach them, I sewed them all onto a belt, which I closed with velcro as well. Ta-da! Super simple! For the blue wrap around the waist, I sewed a long piece of fabric in different colors. And well, next I wrapped it around, surprise! Now for the leather pouches. I found this lovely Mama faux leather on Amazon. My patterns were just simple squares. To stiffen the material up, I glued it onto furniture leather, cut it out and secured the edges with a seam. This extra fabric would give the pouch its volume. I needed a lot of clips to secure all parts together and finally to connect them. As you can see here, I also placed some press studs for the attachment on my skirt later. These studs were also perfect to close the pouch. Next, I covered up the white fabric with my markers, added some details, punched holes all around and pulled a thin leather strip through them. Finally, I applied a good amount of acrylic paint to give the fake leather a more realistic look. And these were all my pouches. Now for the top. For the pattern I used one of my old dresses. After tracing all the shapes this was the result. I used mainly my searcher and the stretchy stitch on my sewing machine to sew this jersey fabric together. Next I made more of these blue stripes and pinned them all around the chest of my dress form. As you can see, I added plenty of fake wrinkles and also some velcro on the back for the attachment. Next, I made a duct tape pattern for my color flappy thing. This is a great technique to create all kinds of costume pieces. Minna was really curious what I was doing here. 
I basically repeated all the steps you've already seen from the skirt. I just followed the patterns, cut two layers out, sewed them together and turned the color inside out. Quite simple. The yellow triangle was a flock foil I had to iron on. I only had to pull off the plastic and done. Next, Benny wetted the fabric with an airbrush and I added a good amount of velcro and press studs for attachment. Hey, we are getting closer! The weird scarf thing was at first just a white fabric sausage I filled with cotton. I sewed a super long fabric stripe in different colors and glued and wrapped everything around. The ends got then some fake fur and were finally sealed with glue. Making the scarf took me forever. As you might have noticed, we added some weathering here as well. And I placed even more studs. They did a great job to connect the scarf to the collar. The pendant I attached next was 3D printed. You'll see all about this in my next video though. I was happy with the result so far. To place the scarf and also the upcoming shoulder armor, I made this harness out of furniture leather. I could open and close it with velcro at the back. And it had these extra little belts for the pulchons. The harness simply disappeared under the blue top and the collar got attached to the harness underneath. I also secured these fake fur pieces the same way. You see, press studs everywhere. The mini belts only had to be pulled through the fur and then I could easily mount the pulchrons onto them. Again, more about those in the next video. Next, the shin guards. First, I wrapped my leg in plastic wrap and duct tape. The patterns got separated into four equally large parts. My fabric of choice was this material with a leather print. I traced all elements, cut them out and ironed on some interfacing. This would give the fabric more mass and stiffness. Next, I clipped all elements together and sewed along the edges. I also added another top stitch to flatten the fabric out. Sadly, however, this part turned out too small and too short, so I threw it away, changed the patterns and made a second attempt. Much better! For the lining, I repeated all steps with linen fabric. Again, I clipped on some fur, sewed it on and attached it to the other side. I mean, you know how the rest works, right? Afterwards, I turned them inside out, added another seam to the edges and secured the fur with fabric glue. I also shortened it a bit with hair scissors, punched holes along the sides and placed eyelets for the attachment. As you can guess, I also painted the fur with Copic markers and Benny did some weathering with his airbrush. The attachment worked similar to lacing a corset. Next, I wrapped all my blue fabric around and added my armor which was secured with straps at velcro. Now to the bracers. For the gloves, I decided to use a stretchy thin fall leather. I used the super professional glove patterns as my template and simply traced the shape onto the material. The glove is made out of two colors, so I had to separate some parts here. I pinned them together and sewed carefully along the edge. This was a little bit tricky. Afterwards, I had to connect both sides to each other. Some pins here and there and I did a little bit of sewing again. Next, I turned the glove inside out and it fit pretty well. For the bracer, I made a pattern around my arm and did all the steps you already saw for the leg part. I sewed and added fur and stuff and got my bracer. Getting into those worked the same way as for the legs. Super simple, right? Yeah, and this was my very first fitting test. I'm a nerdy alloy with glasses. <laughs> you see me with proper makeup and the full costume in the next video. So far 
far it's so good. In total, it took me three weeks to create all parts of the fabric and fur of this costume. Uh, it was still longer than expected, but I think I'm slowly getting better in sewing. Maybe. In the next video, Benny will show you how he created all the armor pieces in 3D and he's also still working on this super complicated hat thing of alloy. So weird. Also, I'm still not sure which weapon we would like to create for this costume, so let me know in the comments which one you would like to see. And if you still have any questions, leave us a comment below. We really try to help you. And yeah, like and subscribe if you like this video. And check out our Patreon if you want to support us there as well. So see you soon. Bye bye.